Hi everyone, it is me, Sarah Neptune, Michelle here, and today uh -oh, I'm going to talk about, you know, I guess an ongoing film, Break 2, from what Sarah Yornis or Sarah Mara, I mean what Sarah Yornis or Mara talked about yesterday. So, as you know, we were Unstraight Lovers in Sailor Moon. And a co invis, he's an in Cloverway, even though Cloverway shifted it and said that we were near kin to each other and that was the grounds for our near kinship. Now, a lot of folks have come up with thoughts and beliefs over why Cloverway had to do it. And one belief is that it was just Cloverway making fun of Deke for Hafting, for Deke Hafting to shift Zoysite. From a man to a woman. Now, first off, I'm going to tell you why I think there's something wrong with that father belief. You know, and like Sarah Yornis, like Amara said yesterday, the grounds to why Deke had to do that shift to uh, to Zoysite was that there were folks in this world, and to some to some way there still are. But back then, there were a lot of folks who believed that unstraight folks, well, I mean, someone who was playing someone who was unstraight, either on, the far, either on a film or a show or a play. But if it was for children, that was a big uh-uh, because some folks thought that that was wrong. It's not like it is today with the open-mindedness and the understanding and the learning of it. But back then, a lot of, a lot of folks were not so open-minded, understanding and learning of unstraightness and whatever you want to call it. So, and there were some bears who would just tell their kids, oh, you're not watching that anymore, and that would be the end of it. Then there are some folks that will go beyond that. And I think Deke was frightened that there might be some folks that would say, well, I'm gonna call the folk works. Let me get a hold of WB and UPN or USA or Cartoon. Let me get a hold of any of their backers and affordors, any of those boostering and showings businesses that are buying boostering and showing time during in the beginning, middle, and end of the show. Um, let me either talk to the whatever. So there are folks out there that will go way above that. And Deke didn't want to get in that bind. They didn't want the folk work to pull the show. They didn't want the U WB or UPN or USA or fa uh, or Cartoon to pull the show off because folks were getting mad that no one could handle the unstraightness of Zoysite and Amalekite. So Zoysite became a woman. Now once we got to the two Ford fall, the third following. Cloverway had gotten the rights to work with Sailor Moon at least, but not as long as Deke had, because Cloverway only had from nine between twenty only had a deal from twenty o to twenty o free while to work with it. So it wasn't as long it wasn't a long deal either. So anyway <clears throat> once Cloverway looked and said, Uh oh, Sarah Yornis and Sailor Neptune are unstraight lovers, what do we do? And the only guess they could come up with is that we go up near kin. And I know there are there are folks in this world who, if they are, there are folks who have near kin. Everybody has some kind of near kin, I guess. Some do, some don't. But some folks are truly close near to each other if they go up around the same time, and if they if their bears happen to be around each other, and they happen to be around each other, and they grow up around the same time. And they're the same year of each other. And then they'll have a then there'll be some kind of bond between them. It does happen. There are some kin that are more close, more near than others. And I guess that's what they were going for. But at the end of the day, that's what they were going for. But I know it didn't quite match up with everything that was being done in the in the show, but that's what they did. 
because Clover Wade did not want to get in a, didn't want to be in that same kind of bind that Deke was frightened that they would be in. So they had to make a shift. Now, some of you folks out there think that Zoe think that Fisheye was a was a man clothed wearing a woman clothed a woman clothed wearing man, which is not true. Because after I watched both the Viz one, which is just, you know, off, it's just the English, <clears throat> English take on the towing one. She is a she. I am sorry. There isn't any, there's no, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but there is no, uh, no, uh, truth to back her up being a he. You know? So... We're not going to talk about that. Now, a big hang-up would have come by the time that Sailor Stars would have been cummed up for it to be worked on. And anyone who would have gotten one the rights to work on Sailor Stars would have been in the same bind. Now, we'll just say, we'll guess and say that Cloverway would have been the ones that also gotten the rights to work with Sailor Stars 2 at the time because they would have had the rights to the Sailor Moon English work at that time too but we were all over the stead and we were doing all kinds of things that it would have been hard for that near kin kinship thing to even work so Cloverway couldn't do anything with it and if you would overlook that on top of it you had the sailor starlights that were free men who when they shape-shifted, they shape-shifted into women. So at the end of the day, that'd be another hang-up for Cloverway. How would they shift that out? How would they <clears throat> tell that without? So, boom. That's why Sailor Stars never got a true English work until, until Viz years later. But <clears throat> we're getting a way, way off track. The grounds is, is that that's why we became near kin because Cloverway did not want to be in the same kind of bind that Deke didn't want to be in either and if someone thinks oh it was just them making fun of someone out for being frightened of being in some kind of bind like I told you before there are some folks out there that will fight to get that stuff taken down there are folks out there who you know they do go they do uprise they do seek to uh, go after anything they deem is wrong. If they believe it's wrong, even when it's not wrong, but they believe it's wrong. And you don't, and it's not like how it is now, well, where more folks are open minded, more folks are understanding and trusting of that, and it's not a big deal anymore as it once was. It would have worked, but it was just not, it was the wrong time and the wrong stead for that kind of thing. So that's why Deke and later on Cloverway had to do it. That's why me and Sailor and Yornes became near kin. That's the truth. Or at least the truth that I understand it. You know? Unless you folks have a <clears throat> another fodder belief over why this is why it was done. Anyway, that's all the time we got here. If you like that, then follow me over here at Sailor Moon for Life. Well, that's the last film we made yesterday over here when Sarah Yornis gave made the first break of this film on Made Now. I'm Sailor Neptune Michelle. Hope you like this film. Bye.